where the extreme value theorem uh, shows existence of extreme values, usually we want to calculate those extreme values of a function. Well, we will just add uh, some definitions here. So suppose we have a function f defined on i, its domain, and we take an a in i. Well, you might think of i being an interval. Uh, then a is called a stationary point if the function is deri uh, has a derivative in a, and uh, its derivative should be zero. And a is a critical point, called a critical point, if it is stationary, so that means that the derivative in a equals zero, or, yeah, so this is the condition that it's stationary, or that the derivative in a does not exist. Yeah, as an example, focus on the quadratic function fx equals x squared, and we find that the derivative is given by 2x. So solving for the stationary points gives a equals 0. So a equals 0 is a stationary point, and because it's stationary, it's also a critical point. Yeah, so a stationary point has an additional feature on top of critical point. Another example, a standard example of a non-differentiable function, fx equals the absolute value of x. Yeah, so if you look at the graph, then you see a kink at a equals zero. Yeah, in a equals zero, the function is not differentiable. So a equals zero is a critical point for this function f. And a equals zero is is not stationary. So being stationary is a stronger property than being critical. 